Hey guys, six months ago, we decided to do a human versus AI test, where it's basically eToro's copy portfolios with, with the free uh, trader copy portfolios versus myself, who will be manually picking the people. So let's see how we've done. Um, but just, just a quick recap, let's have a look. Uh, so, so we're going to invest in copy portfolios. We can see here we've got top trader copy portfolios. We've got three of them. We've got gainers quarter, sharp traders, and active traders. And you need a minimum of $5,000 to pick one of these to start trading this portfolio. So if you want all three of these, that'd be $15,000. You've got the stats here of the last 12 months. So, And it's all automated. They pick the people for you. If one of them goes below a certain percentage, which I think is 5% in the red, then they kill that person off and, well, not literally, but they kill that person off and they add in a new person in its place. So it's good for a sort of safety sense. So let's have a look how it's been for the last six months. So we've got all our people here. This is how they've been for the last six months. You've got quite a few in the red. Here we've got our first copy portfolio. And then the second one and the third one. So two of them are actually in the green. And we keep going up. And we've got some of our people here with some nice high greens as well. Let's calculate. So let's have a, a profit set. So we got 190 plus 139 minus 59. So if we'd had only these three green copy trade portfolios, um, we have $22,000 on each, which is what I've done for the testing, just because I've added maybe like one to three additional people onto my human side, because I saw them during the time and I was like, oh, they actually look quite good. I want to add them in this fight against AI as well. So obviously I increased the amount on the, the copy trade and portfolios as well to make it fair and even. So instead of being five, it's just shot up to 20, 22 on each, but everything is, is all calculated. The AI versus the humans. So yeah, we'd be up $270 if we had only had these three copy portfolios for the last six months. And as you see down here on the profit, we are actually less than two hundred and seventy dollars. Which means that the humans have failed in this sense. If we take away 133, <clears throat> we'd actually be down in the red $137 if it was just the humans just the people that I picked. Which goes to say that, that these ones are safe, it seems. But you need to put a lot of money in, you need at least $15,000. But these would see you through that you don't end up hugely in the red. Um, but in the same sense, personally, I believe that you wouldn't end up hugely in the green either. I'd say it's, for people with a lot of money that want to make little bits of money, small percentages, uh, with more security and more safety. And what's funny is Mohammed here, machine learner, he's the guy that suggested this in the first place, this uh, six month test. He was on side of the AI because he uses an, uh, an artificial AI intelligence algorithm type thing. But he's actually fallen uh, off the face of the earth uh, at the beginning of July. So he has no longer trading. But he's still got plus 14%. So he's actually helping me, going against what he wanted, helping me in this plan because he's, he's one of the humans in this little test. And his 40% is still staying there because he's got nothing to trade. So, yeah. And the same with, I mean, the other bad thing as well with J Nemesis 
for a very long time. I'd say at least four or five months. For whatever reason, I'm not sure why. But on the on the copy portfolio, on this virtual account, his the, the the assets he was trading just suddenly started dropping off one by one. And for a long time he's just not had anything here. And I'm not sure what that, why that is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's definitely a virtual account issue because I'm actually copying him on my real account and nothing like that has happened. There's nothing to do with the real account. So that's very odd, but I've decided to keep him in it anyway because you know, try and keep as many as much as, as real as possible. Try not to uh, manipulate the var variables too much. So he's staying at 0.85% the whole time, which is unfortunate because he would have been one of the, the bigger players. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Hugo is doing really well there. So he, he's, I'd say he's one of the second best people, uh, in my opinion. So, and he, and he is literally the second best on here. So that's good. <coughs> he can be uh, Jay Nemesis's replacement for this. So yeah, the ultimate goal that Muhammad uh, Machine Learner gave to me was pick your best people who performed the best in the previous year. So this would have been 2020. Put all those people up against the free copy portfolios and see how they do. I think his aim was to say the copy portfolios would outperform your best people from 2019 or 2020 because you can't base the future off of previous stats, which is true. And it just goes to show you because quite a few of these people um, have actually either not done very well or, you know, in the case of Mohammed, he's just disappeared. Some people in other videos I've seen on YouTube get their accounts banned, they get blocked. There's, there's, they just leave, they don't want to do it anymore. There's always variables. You can't just let it run forever with a group of people that you've picked from the previous year because their stats have done well for one year. That's what you should take away from this video, if nothing else. You need to stay on top of the people, watch what they're doing, make sure they're doing the right things, that the stats are always good still. They don't just suddenly have a lobotomy and then it's just red for the whole year. They don't know what they're doing or they disappear or get banned. You need to stay on top of the people. Maybe swap out people if someone's not if someone does leave, swap them out with someone who's decent, that you've done research into, not just any random person. So yeah, in this sense, the AI have won. As of right now, six months, almost to the day. I think it was on the 2nd of February we started this. It's now the 3rd of August. The AI is in the green by a little bit, less than a percent. And we're in the red a little bit, less than a percent. So it's close. There has been days where this account at the moment it says 134 in profit. There has been days where it's been up a thousand, up 2000. There has been days where it's been down a thousand, down 2000. It fluctuates throughout the whole year. That's why I say if you have these expensive green copy trade portfolios, it would be good for that. It's a, it's a nice safety net. If you want slow and steady money and you have a lot to put in, then these might be the way to go for you. I would advise you to do a virtual portfolio, maybe something similar to this or just have these ones and watch it every day. See how it goes, how it would sort of use your money. If it would make the gains that you want it to, that it doesn't go below a certain amount. Um, in losses. <clears throat> but as I said, that's a minimum of $15,000 you need. Or, or if you just want to pick one, $5,000. For the majority of us, you know, we can't afford too much money. $200, $250 per person. Sounds good. You start collecting these people, putting a little bit of money on, watching them rise up, some of them fall. But if you pay attention, you actually do it properly. So we look at my real portfolio. See, I'm up 
10% for the year. Um, but if we get rid of if we get rid of this, try and make it similar to the test that we did from the, the 2nd of Feb to the 3rd of August. So we get rid of 5.46. So what's that? 9.94 take away 5.46. <clears throat> so my real account is up 4.48%. Whereas the virtual account is down, you know, between zero and minus one percent. So it just goes to show you. If you just let it run on autopilot and don't think about it, sure, the the copy portfolios it can be up a, up a percent. If you just let it run and it's just normal people that you've looked at the stats for the last year, you might be down one percent. If you actually take control of the people and pick the best people that you think, keep an eye on them, always look out for newer people. I'm always added people to my watch list, having a search for them through the uh, copy people tab, you know, adjusting all the little filters, trying to find people who have done well during uh, a dip that just happened, all those sorts of things. Then, you know, you can be up. Um, I'm up four, four, five percent, which is a lot more than less than one percent for the copy portfolios that we just looked at. The uh, those three top trader portfolios. So yeah, in conclusion, if you have the money, then maybe give it a go for the copy trade portfolios. If you want safety, like super safety, but only small gains. And I would recommend to use a virtual account first for six months, watch it every day, get an idea of how it feels, because once you do put that money on, you would be looking at it every day, because it's a lot of money. And it's just a natural instinct for you to check it all the time. So start getting in that habit, try it with the virtual. I know your gut instinct is to go, no, I don't want to try the virtual. That's six months I could have wasted. That's six months just wasted. It was on the virtual. I could do it now, which was my downfall in 2019. You have to get in that mindset of the virtual. You have to try to do the virtual. So yeah, whatever you want to do, whichever angle you want to go with, whether it's a lot of money in copy trade portfolios or not so much money or whatever in just individual people, I would recommend to use a virtual account first for a bit, try it out, see which one uh, yeah, floats your boat. Yeah, it is possible. I've outperformed, it would seem, both the, the human test and the, the AI test. Just by staying on top of it and f picking people in and out, picking the right people, changing it up, and staying on top of it up 5%. And this is how it should be. You shouldn't just leave it on autopilot. You shouldn't pick a bunch of people that did well last year and then just let them go forever. That should maybe be your initial reason why you picked them, because they did well last year. And you have them in that sort of middle area. Is that right? Now we're going to start putting these people in and seeing how they do. Or just pick one or two of them. <clears throat> just stay on top of it, basically. Never let it run. Um, but I guess you could with the copy trade portfolios. So that's another thing, I guess. So you have a lot of money and you want to make little bits of money. And you don't want to check it every day. Then I guess copy portfolios. Yeah, well, that does it for this video. Thank you for waiting six months. I was uh, kind of hoping, based on previous uh, little experiments I did, that the humans would be winning, um, which is what happened before when I did it uh, off camera. They was just uh, killing it last year, uh, absolutely killing it, which is part of the reason why I thought I'd do this, to just show that, you know, copy portfolios are not good, not to use them. The humans will always win. 
But I guess it just depends on the time of the year or how long you do it for. I think it was in a very sort of high rise and peak when the humans were winning. Uh, when it goes down in the red, then uh, the AI sort of kicks in and puts in their security measures. Uh, it all works about even in the end, give or take half a percent. Half a percent up for the copy portfolios, half a percent down for the humans. For auto autopilot. <clears throat> so you got to stay on top of it a little bit, basically. That's the, the name of the game. This is your money, this is your investment, this is your future. You got to put a little bit of work in at least. You can't just not do anything. Okay. Hope you took something away from this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.